represent the Aurora Christian Eagles. This is the WSPY Saturday Morning Sports Show. Where's our speakers at? No. Hey, when the buzzer sounds, that usually means on a Saturday morning that Jim Tucker Brock is here with you. And I believe that's who I am most days. <laughs> so we are here to bring you the Saturday morning sports show this morning from about 8.35 until 10. Now, mostly we talk about local sports and the local sports scene, high school sports. Okay, but we do get into college and professional right. sports as well. We and sometimes... Down? We get into middle school sports, and I've got a guest with me this morning that's going to tell us about something that's going on over at the Plano Middle School. Zach Gutzweiler is joining us this morning again. Good morning, Zach. Good morning. Hey, we got something going on over at the middle school. Now, he kind of told me about this a little bit earlier this summer. We had Zach on, and we talked about it and let people know a couple things that were going on at that time. One of them is already well past us, but the Plano Tigers... And you're going to tell us all about it or having a camp for the girls and the boys coming up this week. Yep, to introduce us into the IESA, we got the girls and boys basketball camps. Um, it's for both incoming 7th and 8th grade girls and boys, but they're at different times. Girls are going to be from 8 to 10, and boys are going to be from 10 to noon. Mm -hmm. That's all going to be in the Plano Middle School gym. It's going to cost you $35, though. You can sign up. Monday and Tuesday, the day of the camp. It's going to start Tuesday all the way to Friday. This Tuesday, so remember that, all the way to Friday. Um, now we have more information. Um, we're going to have uh, drills. We're going to have uh, uh, many things to teach you about here in the camp. Uh, and then in the second half of the camp, we're going to have um, a good portion of it being contests, games, and scrimmages. And there will be prizes. You'll get a T-shirt. You know, all the regular camp stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, that's always a lot of fun, and those camp T-shirts, everybody, you know, takes pride in wearing those around to show that they went to the camp and everything. And, you know, a lot of the folks, uh, you know, follow us with our different broadcasts throughout the year, and they, they hear us talking about the Plano Reapers, certainly one of the teams that we cover. But in the middle school, Plano's uh, well, mascot is the Tigers. So it'll be the Plano Tigers uh, 2014 Summer Girls and Boys Basketball Camp. And... You know, for those of you who have uh, not ever gone to a camp, it's certainly very worthwhile. You pick up different fundamentals in basketball, like working on dribbling and defense and, and proper positioning and those kind of things, rebounding, other stuff. And kind of maybe tell us who's going to be over there to help out run the camp. Well, we're going to have Dan Slucky, a good um, old-time teacher. He's done uh, the basketball program for many years. And then we're going to have the newcomer, um, Tyler Went. He's taken over for Ryan Sizz. Um, we're not sure if he's going to be here this next year for um, the whole basketball season, but he's definitely going to be coaching the camp. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, we know Tyler and we know Dan, of course, and uh, they'll do a good job with it. And again, it's coming up on uh, Tuesday. Now, it gets going for the girls a little earlier in the morning. They go from 8 till 10. Now, you can walk up and, and get your registration right there if you have to, but they'd kind of like you to get it taken care of and stuff on Monday, right? Right, right. Right at the Plano Middle School office, you can call them for any questions, 630-552-3608. The main office, just ask them about it. They'll probably give you a form right there, or you can find it on their website. It should be right there on the main Plano 88 website. Mm -hmm. Yep, just go to your middle school link, and you'll probably find the form right there and get it all filled out. And $35 is very affordable. Some camps are, are more expensive than others, and this one is very affordable. And it's kind of your last chance before school starts. Man, hard to believe we're already thinking about that already, but there's a couple of schools that start up about the middle of this month, and we're here at August the 2nd. And, of course, we've got football uh, getting ready to start with their regular uh, preseason drills and everything coming up on August the 11th, and then all the other fall sports for high school, uh, they start on August the 13th. But this is a middle school basketball camp for the girls and the boys, and we'll bring Zach back in a couple of minutes, and he'll go over everything for you again in case you missed it the first time around. He'll fill you in on the days and the times and all that stuff and where it's going to be at. But we appreciate Zach coming out this morning and spending some time with us. He, uh, he helped write uh, some of the articles for the newspaper that they published last year, and they were very proud of that, all the hard work by he and some of the other people on the, on the staff over there and, and their teachers that helped out and stuff, too. And so we'll let him talk a little bit about that as well. But we have a lot of people that make our Saturday morning sports show possible, and I'm loaded with commercials today. It's an unbelievable list, but we appreciate them so much, and they, without them, 
we would not be able to bring you sting, things like this, the Saturday morning sports show, and the many, many games that we cover throughout the calendar school year. So that'll get going again August the 29th. We'll talk a little bit about that later as well. We've got some guests that are going to join us this morning besides Zach. I've got Carol Navarro, the athletic director over at Newark. We'll hear from her at about 9.30. Also, we've got Peter Goff, the new athletic director up at Kalen, and we'll hear from him a little bit after 9 o'clock at the top of the hour. But let's get to some of these great sponsors that make our Saturday morning sports show and our sports coverage possible. Resource Bank is proud to be a part of the village of Salmonac, and they're proud to announce the grand opening of their new Salmonac facility on August 23rd. The brand new Resource Bank Salmonac facility will be celebrating with lots of surprises, and everyone is invited to join the celebration. Please stop by the new branch at 605 East Market Street in Salmonac or any of their nine DeKalb County locations. Resource Bank, believing in the next generation of farmers. Member FDIC. Hey there, what are you doing? Looking for this nifty little doodad on the OfficeWorks website. I ordered one a while ago and wanted again, but I can't remember what it's called. Don't you have a user account? Sure do. Then you can log in, check your order history, and find the exact product you got last time. Hey, there it is. Oh, you meant a correction tape dispenser. Those are nifty. Now save it to your favorites list and easily add it to your order every time you want more. No need to search. Now that's nifty. Yeah. The office works in downtown Plano, doing whatever it takes. Create your user account at the dash office-works.com. The new mobile tire service truck at Arneson Tire is ready to roll. Arneson is here to make your life easier. The new mobile tire service truck is ready to come to you on the job, in the field, wherever you need to repair your tires, or install new tires on all larger vehicles. So listen up, farmers, construction workers, landscapers, and truckers. It's Arneson Mobile Tire Service to the rescue. For tires that grip the road, not your pocketbook, come see me, Tom Arneson, at Arneson Tire and Sandwich, or online at arnesontire.com. At Mike's Auto Body, we value your business and guarantee to provide both the highest quality of repairs plus an outstanding customer experience. This is Stacy, my husband Shane and I, owners of Mike's Auto Body, are dedicated to keeping our customers informed of the progress of vehicle repairs regardless of the extent of damage to bring your vehicle back to its pre-accident condition. We're committed to working with all insurance companies as well as self-paid customers to ensure your complete satisfaction. Mike's Auto Body, Route 34 East of Sandwich between the Chevy and Ford dealerships. For excellence in auto body work, trust Mike's Auto Body. The Old Time Inn and Sandwich is home to the best burger in town and the hottest video gaming machines around. A friendly atmosphere with a kick. The Old Time Inn has half price cheeseburgers on Monday night. Dine in only. Trivia with prizes on Wednesday night. Open mic night with Mike Holly on Thursday. And live entertainment and free jukebox every weekend. Located at 109 South Main Street in downtown Sandwich. The Old Time Inn. Great food. Great atmosphere. Great gaming. Come and have some fun. Cha-ching. Make your garden magical with garden decor from Winding Creek Nursery. Unique wrought iron decor, garden flags, stepping stones, and fairy garden accessories will be a great accent to your garden. Add a wind chime, bird feeder, or a bird bath to complete your outdoor sanctuary. And be sure to plant perennials, hydrangeas, and other flowering shrubs to attract butterflies and hummingbirds. Visit windingcreek-nursery.com. Come spend a day in the country at Winding Creek Nursery, your fertile headquarters in Millbrook, and stop by their booth at the Sandwich Fair. They have everything for your planting pleasure. Bring your vehicle to Jack and Gina's BP and Hinkley. Fill up with BP gas with Invigorate and you'll improve your fuel efficiency. BP gasoline with Invigorate helps clean and protect critical engine parts so you can go a little farther between fill-ups. Get an oil change with up to five quarts of oil, tire rotation, inspection of your tires, wipers, lights, a cup of premium roast coffee, and snacks, and you're ready for the beautiful days ahead. Jack and Gina's BP and Hinkley, where you'll always get a smile and a thanks to send you on your way. The working man store. Meet Tim. He first came into NBNT just after his mother-in-law moved in with he and his wife. How can we help you today, Tim? Tim seems to think it's time to move, but my daughter and I think our house is just perfect. <sighs> so you met my mother-in-law, Agnes. So, Tim, you're looking to get pre-approved for a mortgage? I'm in love with my bedroom, especially for the big flat screen. You mean my office at NBNT. We know how important it is to find that perfect home to fit your life.
For all that life brings, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Are mosquitoes bugging you? Then it's time to bite back. Bite back with the Mosquito Defender from Spring Green. Their affordable Mosquito Defender service provides quick knockdown and long-lasting relief from mosquito activity around your yard. Spring Green will make the hours you spend outside more enjoyable. Call 630-553-9003 today for pricing and details. Visit spring-green.com and stop mosquitoes now. Spring Green Lawn and Tree Care of Yorkville, your neighborhood lawn care professional. G&L Countertops, 1010 East 3rd Street and Sandwich. They are your local custom countertop one-stop shop. It's all done there locally, start to finish, right in their shop. They do all the work from the measurement to the installation. Plus, their process is environmentally friendly. Their showroom is awesome, but if you can't get there, they'll bring samples right to you. So what are you waiting for? Bring the beauty of granite to your home. Call G&L Countertops today at 815-786-2244 or go to glcountertops.com. Come. All right, everyone ready for vacation? Yay! Did you hold the mail? Yep. Did you ask the neighbors to keep an eye on things? I did. Did you take the car to Arneson? Um, no. Flat tire. Oh, uh, the oil light just came on. Pull over. I can't. The brakes don't work. Make sure a trip to Arneson Tires is in your pre-vacation checklist. They'll inspect your oil, tires, brakes, and anything else that might frustrate you on the road. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Well, almost anything. For tires that grip the road, not your pocketbook, come see me, Tom Arneson, at Arneson Tire and Sandwich. Wow, the truck's there. Florida Furniture. That's right, Cooper. Hi, this is Kara from Cooper Home Furnishings on Main Street, downtown Plano, inviting you to stop in and see the new lines of furniture and accessories for every room in your home. For years, you've known us as offering name brand furniture for every room in your home at great prices. If you've never visited us, then come on down and experience the most relaxed way to browse for Tigers girls and boys basketball camp. Now, Zach, you're a student over at Plano Middle School as well, and uh, what are some of the activities you get involved in over there? Well, I'm involved in both cross-country basketball, uh, track, choir, and band. Very good. And you like school, you told me. Oh, of course. And you're a good student. Uh, of course. Just like me. <laughs> Not. <laughs> to be a good student though. and I'm proud of you for that you know because whether you're an athlete or not you know you're a student first and then a student athlete or a student band member or a student choir or a student in the drama club whatever you're a student first and that's the way to do it my friend well go ahead and tell us again about that camp coming up that gets going on Tuesday well we have the basketball camp for the girls and boys both separate though girls from 8 to 10 boys from 10 to noon they're from Tuesday not Monday Tuesday to Friday um, we register at the middle school office. Call them for any questions, 630-552-3608. Make sure you get the office, though. Um, the ladies in the office, they'll be glad to help you. Um, the cost is $35. It's right there in the gym. Right when you walk in the front doors, you just go right into the gym, or the office is right there on your left. Mm -hmm. And it starts this Tuesday, August the 5th, correct? Tuesday. We prefer you register Monday, but you can register the day of the camp, Tuesday. And thirty-five dollars, you get a T-shirt and all this great instruction, and, and uh, you'll enjoy the camp. And it goes Tuesday through this coming Friday, and so from Tuesday the fifth through Friday, August the eighth. Zach, thanks for that information. We'll bring you back in later on, probably to talk a little bit more about it as well. But it's over at the middle school over in Plano, and it gets going again, as we said on Tuesday. That's this coming Tuesday, August the fifth. Well, we mentioned too that high school was. Fall sport practices are getting underway. A lot of the schools have different types of, of registrations and days for you to go to get indoctrinated by the coaches and everybody over there as well. So check with your schools. Go to their websites. Everybody's got one of those now. Go in and, and check when you're supposed to be over there. Sometimes there's a couple of days of sign-ups and different things. Every school is a little bit different as to how they handle it. Sometimes they bring in just the fall sport athletes. Sometimes it's athletes for the whole school year who come in, too, and and yeah. our cheerleaders and, and dance team and all that stuff. So check your websites. Those uh, dates are coming up here very quickly in many cases. Some of the schools have them, or many do, before 
school starts and before practices starts. Some of them have, you know, maybe a meeting after practices have already started for parents, guardians, and the student athletes. So check with your website at your local school. Make sure you get that information and find out about fees and different things like that that are involved too with some of the extracurricular activities. But all that is coming up. Now, football is the first fall sport to get started as far as the official practices. That's August the 11th. All the other fall sports start on August the 13th. That's for high school athletes. High school athletes we're talking about under the IHSA sports system. So we will uh, try to keep you posted on anyone that sends information directly to us. Uh, about their particular days and stuff and sign-ups. But again, go to the websites, and most of those websites, too, have the forms. If there's forms you need to fill out, there's links to get those forms right there for you. But it is important uh, to have those things done, get your physicals taken care of and those kind of things, uh, too, as well. And all the websites will explain that and, and tell you about the different options that are available there as well. So it is that time of year, no question about it where you need to get going on that type of stuff. You don't want to miss out. And then for most of these schools, you cannot practice until you have current physicals and all that kind of stuff taken care of and everything filled out ahead of time or by the dates that they require them. So make sure you find out about those two and don't have any issues when you go to start your practices and stuff. Hey, we do have a few more folks we need to hear from here before the top of the hour. Yeah, our first half hour is almost up. Let's hear from some more of the folks that make our Saturday morning sports show possible. Homes are starting to move faster than they have in years, so it's more important than ever for you to know how much of a home you can afford. Hi, this is Stephanie Bombick at First National Bank Yorkville. Are you Kaylin, well, I guess not new that much. You've been there, what, three weeks or so now, I think. And good morning. Good morning. Actually, longer than that. I was hired, I believe, in March, and I, I know my first event, I went to the first round of the sectional basketball game. And then I was here most of the spring. I came in in June and worked in the mornings and finished my duties over at six more in the afternoon. So I've been quite uh, acquainted with the area and the school. Of course, you're no stranger we'll to the conference having been there. at Sycamore okay. here for... information about you getting uh, you know, the job and stuff over there. I know there's a little bit of a conflict that you're going to have to kind of root for Sycamore, at least for one of their players, and maybe some girls basketball games and stuff this year. Yeah, and volleyball. Uh, when we first moved here, she didn't really have a fall sport. I said try volleyball. She did. She loved it. Um, Coach Clark got really interested in it, and she had a good sophomore year, and you know, yep, it's going to be uh, it's it's going to be a little different, but that's my blood, and that's who I've. I had, you know, the joke is, is that I had her in a jib when she was three weeks old because I was the head basketball coach at Ashton Franklin Center, and we had a shootout, and I was back then you couldn't sit on the bench, so I had to sit in the bleachers with her and yell from there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, his daughter, Peter's daughter, Choli, folks, is uh, at Sycamore, and she'll be a junior, I think, this year on the volleyball, basketball, and then also in, in track and field. So uh, that ought to be a lot of fun. And of course, it's it's great to have your kids, you know, involved with sports and, and, and things, no question about that. We all love that. Well, let, let's give the folks a little bit of your background. Go ahead and tell a little bit of the folks about some of the things you've done in your you know professional career and, and those types of things so they get a little more familiar with it. Well, I went to Rock Falls High School. I graduated in 1986. Uh, went to Winona State for three months, came back home, worked in the steel mill at, in Sterling when it was running well. Just didn't want to do it anymore, so I went to Southern Illinois. Uh, one of my great friends, one of my best friends was down there, so I went down there with him. Uh, got involved in the basketball team with Rich Aaron down there. Uh, had some great years as a student assistant for him. Uh, was it? One of my friends hung on after Coach Aaron stepped down, and that's how I got to know Coach Weber and really how things really started rolling for me through my athletic career. Uh, my first job was in, at Tampico Middle School, the birthplace of Ronald Reagan. Uh, so I was there for a year, then I became the head basketball coach at Ashton Franklin Center for three years. Left there to get closer to home because uh, we had Chloe. And so I was at Sterling for uh, nine years, six of those as the head basketball coach. Uh, had some very good years there, great years there. Uh, one of, uh, I guess, a lot of great kids, but one that moved on was Joseph Bertrand, who just graduated from the University of Illinois, and he signed a pro contract to play over in Luxembourg. So 
very proud of him that after I left Sterling, uh, I went to Bloomington for two years. Not the greatest fits for my daughter, so we came to Sycamore where, you know, Chloe still is. Great people over there, work for great, uh, great administrators. You know, Tim Carlson, Kathy Countryman, Steve Balster. Uh, learned a lot from Chauncey Carrick as an athletic director. Uh, one of my friends, Mike Rice, who I met over there, came to uh, Caneland as an assistant principal. When this came up, he said, hey, you should take a look at it. We did, and now the rest is history. I'm here, and, you know, loving every minute of it. Well, we certainly welcome you in WSBY Sports and, and myself, uh, Jim Teckenbrack, as the sports director here. We are proud to call you a night now and uh, involved with the different sports that we'll cover throughout the year, whether it be, you know, football coming up here before too long and then, of course, basketball and baseball and the other things we, we do as well here, too. And, you know, we, we certainly we know that... You know, it's a tough conference, you know. You've been involved with it with Sycamore these last few years. Athletically, you know, a lot of the conferences in the state are good. This is one of the best. And you look at girls and boys sports and in all the different sports, great opportunities for these young student athletes and great competition, not just within your conference. That's tough. And all the schools play tough non-conference games. But, but in this conference, man, oh, man, you've got to be ready. You've got to have kids that are dedicated and coaches that are dedicated to lead them as they you know, go up through the different uh, age brackets of uh, freshmen to fresh south of varsity. Well, very familiar with Kalen, even when I was at uh, Sterling. We came here and played a double overtime thriller, and we lost in double overtime. I didn't have a voice for, uh, I think, a month after that. So, and then and then with, uh, over at Sycamore, you know, Kalen was the, the one that you, uh, you know, put a big star by. And, and, and if you just go up and down the conference, it's just, it's uh, brutal. It, it's it's kind of like how the big thing, you know, now we know how the Big Ten teams feel, how they beat on each other, and then they go out, and, you know, it's kind of, you know, easy when, when they leave because you have such tough competition uh, in all sports. And, and yes, uh, every game is a battle in this conference, and it's just great. Um, there's no patsies on the schedule, and, and for nine conference, yeah, you just you try to get the best that you can, and I think all of our coaches try to make a great experience for their kids in those nine conference games. Well, you know, coming into it this year, there, there was a conference change with you know a couple of the teams uh, you know exiting the conference and. Uh, Rochelle moving over from the east to the west, so it, it kind of changes the whole scope of the conference. And be, you know, you guys will be looking at that and stuff to make changes you know, in the years to come. I'm sure with the two five team divisions, not a great number to work with, but you know what is left is certainly quality sports, that's for sure. But a couple of the teams decided that you know they needed to make a change, and so they moved away from the NI Big Twelve. And they're going to tough conferences, the Big Northern with Dixon and. I, 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 I can't remember Streeter going to the Corn Belt or the Interstate A or the uh, Streeter yeah. Yeah. yeah, and those are tough conferences. So uh, I'm very familiar with Dixon and Streeter because when I was with Sterling, we played them all the time. I'm happy I don't have to make that trip to Streeter anymore. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we, you know, we wish them the best of luck, but we're worrying about our own. And, you know, there's always talk about who we can get and what's going to happen. But as far as right now, we're, we're standing pat. And, you know, we'll take on, you know, any any oncomers because, like I said before, on both sides, just had a lot of great success in all areas of, of sports. Well, and the fans and the sports boosters have always uh, supported Caneland Athletics very well. Uh, you know, I'm sure you're getting to meet some of those folks now and getting involved with them and stuff, too. And they've always been there to help out. I mean, there were some lean years at times, and, and then one year they jumped in and basically, you know, financed the athletics for a year up at Caneland when things were, were kind of difficult. And they've continued to, each and every year, work with the athletic directors and athletic uh, staff and coaches to try and give the, the student athletes up there the best equipment and best facilities possible. Well, they do, and I've met with our, our booster club already, and what a great bunch of people. Just, you know, a lot of people don't know what coaches do, and a lot of people don't know what, what athletic boosters do as well. The such a mutual respect for each other because of all the hard work they do, and the booster club's just phenomenal here. And, and Caneland's a very unique place. Uh, when I was at Sycamore, there was always training 
that off his chant, where is Kainlin? And I was sitting there going, yeah, where is Kainlin? But we have the different communities coming together as one. It's just, it's, it's unbelievable the support that this place has. So we're really, really excited. Um, I, I believe I'll be at the Sugar Grove uh, Corn Boil this weekend, oh, yeah. meeting people. You know, one of the things that I, when I talk to our booster club is that you know, I think we only have like 68 members out of, you know, about 800 kids who play sports here. And one of the major goals is to try to triple our membership. So we have a new membership drive uh, going. We'll all be out there at the Corn Boil uh, on Saturday and Sunday. So stop by. Uh, I believe you join there. We we dropped the price at the price to twenty dollars to join, and I think you get a free T-shirt and uh, drawings for uh, an all sports pass, which is like a equivalent to one hundred and fifty or two hundred dollars. Very good. That sounds like a great idea. And yeah, get on out there, folks, in the listening area. That we have a lot of Caneland fans and fans of those communities that listen into us and and stuff too. So get on out there, help. Caneland uh, sports boosters and the athletic boosters up there, and uh, and meet uh, well Coach Goff, you know Peter Goff, the new athletic director up at Caneland High School. Well, again, we want to thank you for joining us a little bit this morning to talk about this. Congratulations uh, to you, and and uh, I'll be looking at those box scores and stuff when uh, Sycamore and Caneland play, especially in some of that girls basketball stuff. That'll be interesting to to take a look at. I. Uh, I <laughs> you may have to get one of those shirts where it's like Caneland and Sycamore, you know, sewn yeah, together, you know. <laughs> people don't remember Ray Rayner when he had the half cub and half socks, yeah. or the cub and the socks hat where he'd have to flip it around, you know. No, my daughter, uh, she's very supportive, um, but well, I think we had a track meet here, and there was girls jogging on the track. She was the first one to yell at me, traitor, so and they all started laughing, but she's really supportive. My whole family supportive. My wife, again, has just always been great there for me through all the years of coaching. Uh, but, you know, I, it'll be a good thing, and I root for, you know, I'll root for Chloe, and I think everyone will understand why I'm rooting for Chloe. Yeah. Well, we'll be, look forward to meeting with you, too, uh, personally and directly, and getting up there to do some football in this fall and, and on through the year. And, uh, of course, we are heavily involved with the uh, Plano Christmas Classic Basketball Tournament. I'm sure we'll see you around there this year as uh, Kalen, one of the, the members of that uh, great tournament, too. And uh, I don't know if you've been to that tournament before, but... Yeah. Actually, I've scouted, I've scouted the... I've been to Plano a couple times, but during my coaching days, I think when I was an assistant at Rock Falls, I went down and, and scouted at the Plano tournament when it was small, but now I hear it's one of the most up-and-coming, and my coaches are... Oh, and nine satellites out there. Uh, you know, they love Quiet. it because you can have both levels there, some good competition. I believe Ottawa's in it now, so I know Coop down in Ottawa, and yeah. he raves about it as well, and I think Mendota has always been you know, with Coach Joe Martin and through the years. Yep, 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 those teams and many others that came on a big part of it, so we'll look forward to visiting with you there as well. Well, thanks for joining me again. I appreciate it. Look forward to meeting you in person, as we said, and we look forward to Caneland Athletics each and every year. Well, thank you so much for taking time, and go night. There you go. All right. Well, thanks a lot to uh, Coach uh, Peter Goff, the new athletic director up at Caneland High School. No longer a coach. He's now the athletic director up there after moving over from Sycamore. That ought to be a lot of fun for him and a lot of fun for the fans, too. And, and uh, everybody I've talked to, the coaches up there, they're real real inspired by him already, and I think it's going to be a great year in the night nice sport. Let's take a break. We'll be back for more on the Saturday morning sports show right after this. Time Earn rewards on I'll everyday say purchases with Heartland Bank's signature rewards Visa oh, credit card. Every remember. dollar you spend earns you points We're towards recording. travel, gift cards, merchandise, or cash back what? because your signature what? Rewards Visa is owned and backed by Heartland Bank. You also oh, well, get the service and convenient payment options online at any Heartland Bank office or by mail. You deserve a reward, and Heartland Bank's Rewards Visa makes it easy. Apply online today yeah. at hbtbank.com. Heartland Bank, member of DLC, visit hbtbank.com for pricing and award details. When you think about what it will be like for your loved ones when you're gone, you know it's the right thing to do. This is Chuck Eigner from Burkhard Eigner and Turner Eigner Funeral Homes. We're one of Fox River Valley's only licensed pre-need insurance funeral directors. Our pre-need funeral plans can overcome problems of cost because your price is locked in. Plus, decisions about your service are made at a less stressful time. Talk to me, Chuck Eigner, at Burkhard Eigner and Turner Eigner Funeral Homes in Sandwich, Salmonock, Plano, Leland, and Earlville, serving your family 
with care. It's summer, time for vacations, and before you know it, the kids are back in school. Remember the eye exam and glasses because they're vital to your child's learning. Hi, Dawn from Oswego Vision. Now through the end of September, Oswego Vision is offering all students a buy one, get one free. Purchase a pair of glasses with single vision poly lenses starting at $79 and receive a second pair for free. Some exceptions apply. Add-ons available at an additional cost. Call Oswego Vision today for your child's school eye exam at 630-554-8002. This is Reed Martin from Kaywood Associates. You do your best to protect your loved ones, and while you may keep a fresh battery in your smoke detector and have a reliable home security system, there is a whole different type of protection you may be missing. The life insurance policy from Auto Owners Insurance is a way to safeguard your loved ones now and in the future. Call me, Reed Martin, at Kaywood Associates at 630-552-3447. Java Jills is now open in Yorkville. Most coffee houses cater to the morning coffee drinker. Java Jills offers coffee for the evening crowd in a relaxed, upscale, casual environment where adults can enjoy a good cup of coffee, after dinner libation, and a low key gaming experience. Java Jills serves liquors like Bailey's that mix well with coffee. Located North Route 47 and Cannonball Trail in Yorkville, Java Jills is open 6 a.m. to 1 a.m. Monday through Thursday, 6 a.m. to 2 a.m. Friday and Saturday, and 9 a.m. till midnight on Sunday. Java Jills, good coffee, better gaming. Tune in to the birthdays and anniversaries Monday through Saturday mornings at 7.50 and weeknights at 6.25. Birthdays and anniversaries are brought to you in part by Luigi's Pizza, the birthday party specialist with laser tag, game room, pizza, and more. Mommy and Aiden Academy, 24-7 preschool and child care on Lake Street in Aurora. And Fox Valley Coins in Naperville, the area's leading gold and silver dealer. <laughs> Birthdays and anniversaries on 107.1 WSPY. The Home Depot has Glidden Premium Paint and Primer starting at just $19.97 a gallon. So, let's roll with the best value paint and primer in one that's been top rated for four years in a row. Then break out some stunning color without breaking the bank. Let's do this with Glidden Premium Paint and Primer starting at just $19.97 a gallon. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Created by an independent consumer study, Continental U.S. only. See store for details. Wendy's presents The Shusher. Dinner at a movie is great, but the library? Yeah, we can check out movies here for free. Nice. Oh, sorry. Hey, let's hit Wendy's for a great deal on dinner, too, and check out some junior bacon cheeseburgers. Nice. You I'm getting me some bacon. Get more delicious for your dollar at Wendy's with favorites like the Junior Bacon Cheeseburger on our right price, right size menu. Now that's better. Prices and participation may vary. All right, welcome back to the Saturday Morning Sports Show. Zach Dutzweiler alongside Jim Checkenbrock here with you on a Saturday Morning Sports Show from about 835 until 10. Zach, uh, you're going to preview again for us the, uh, the basketball camp coming up for the girls and the boys over at the Plano Middle School. Yeah, we have a basketball, girls and boys basketball camp coming up here Tuesday, August 5th to the Friday the 8th. Again, that's Tuesday, not Monday. It's for uh, both girls and boys, 7th and 8th grade. Girls start at 8 to 10. Boys are 10 to noon. It will be at the Plano Middle School gym. You can register right at the front office or call them, 630-552-3608. It will be $35. You can register the day of cam the camp or you can register Monday. Monday is preferred, though. Go ahead and give them that phone number, too, if they want to call over there again. It's 630-552-3608. Six, 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 oh, All right, very good. Basketball camp for girls and boys coming up on Tuesday, August the 5th, over at Plano Middle School. If you have information like that that you'd like to get put on the air, just go to the WSBY and uh, our, our uh, website, or just give me a call at 630-552-1000. And just hit one for sports, or my extension is 301. Again, 630-552-1000. And just hit one for sports. It'll prompt you right into that. Or you can do my extension, which is 301. We'll get that information out for you. Because a lot of times there are announcements and stuff that you'd like to get on the air. Please get a hold of us and let us know. We'd be glad to put any information about old camps, like we're uh, hearing from Zach about this morning, or sign updates and those kind of things. Maybe registration for your specific sports and athletes and things like that. So those things come around and they need to, need to get that information out there. But as I said this morning earlier, too, go to the websites 
for the different schools. All this information is there, and you can follow down through the links and find out information that, that you may need to know as a parent or guardian or that your student athlete needs to know as far as the sign-up, start dates for practices, those kind of things. Fees, there's schedules like that that are on there. Different forms are usually available that you can fill out to get those. A lot of the athletic schedules are online. There's information uh, for the alumni and the sports boosters. Uh, online a lot of the different uh, websites as well for your particular school. So take advantage of that and, uh, and get on over there to those websites and find out the information that you need. As I mentioned earlier, the uh, first day of official football practice kind of kicks things off two days ahead of the other fall sports now. Something new this year, August the 11th, the football teams can begin uh, their practices and stuff in earnest. They've already had their contact days and their camps and stuff, but the IHSA start date for football is August the 11th. Now, the IHSA start date for all other fall sports is August the 13th. That's the IHSA, high school sports. As Zach was telling us about the camp over there, that's an IESA uh, event because it's middle school. And so it governs uh, them as far as the state regulations and start dates and those kind of things. As all the sports have that, now the fall sports uh, at various schools, uh, many schools have, you know, maybe a, a different offering than some of the others. So find out if you're new to the area what your school has in particular. Some uh, you know, communities have added sports like Yorkville this year has added uh, not only swimming and diving as they're going to co-op with IMSA over at Yorkville, they've also added girls and boys bowling over at uh, Yorkville High School this well this year as well too so you can find out more information about that and uh, get all those uh, days and times set up for you in advance so you know when you need to be where and your student athletes know when uh, when to be and where to be and those kind of things as well but again pass that information along to us we'll be glad to pass it along hey we were keeping an eye on the Nolan Illinois Thunder girls fast pitch softball team this week and congratulations to them uh, they're probably on their way home now and uh, what a what a week they had they went down to overland park kansas for the ussa a division a uh, part of the world series for 16 and under teams and man did they do well they went five and two they wound up just out of the final four as they lost to the kansas city athletics yesterday in their second of two games they split two games yesterday they had went three and oh in pool play then they uh won a couple games they went four and one after the uh, first day of bracket play and then they went finished five and two as they went one and one yesterday overall they finished 27 and 13 on the season thunder players who contributed all year long were courtney davis out of canelan high school daniel foster out of oswego carly frohenhoff of west aurora high school hopefully i'm getting her name pronounced correctly rachel gress of canelan tori unger from west aurora also, Maddie Kaywall of Samanac, Emma Molinghouse of Rosary, Maddie Reinecke of Aurora Central Catholic, Isabel Salas of Plano, Kim Schliff of West Aurora, Elise Tatiner of Matea Valley, also Daniel Van Gundy of Rosary, and Mary Wackelin of Mendota. Congratulations to all of them. Their head coach is Perry Clark. And again, thank you to Scott Kaywall for sending his information all week long. We've been reporting since Tuesday of the Nolan, Illinois Thunder, how they went dead in each of their games. And Scott, was the man that uh, made that possible for sending us in information. And of course, his daughter, Maddie Kaywall, uh, certainly a big member of that squad. Now, this was the 16 and under group, so they all you know, go back to their high schools now, and many of them involved with fall sports and stuff, but their season of summer uh, travel ball is over. And again, the Northern Illinois Thunder uh, finished uh, uh, great out at the USSA World Series in Class A in Overland Park, Kansas, as they went 5-2, and two, finished just out of the final four teams in that uh, great World Series out there. Hey, we've got uh, Jared Schaefer standing by down in the newsroom. Let's hear a couple of things, and then we'll go to Jared for the local news, and then back for more on the Saturday morning sports show, including our interview with Carol Navarro, the athletic director over at Newark. This is the Wall Street Journal Report. I'm